Gen 3 valve body is real. GM just put out a bulletin and we've got all the updates right here on DuramaxNews.com. This is an article made that talks about all of the updates that the Gen 3 valve body got over the Gen 2. And this valve body actually came out a couple months ago. And so I'm just scrolling through the article right now, but here's the big thing is we had this actually back in August of 2025. And what I did here was this is on my Mr. Greg Wrench channel. And so I shared photos of a valve body that I had. Now this wasn't mine, so I wasn't able to really do much with it outside of take pictures. I couldn't unbag it or anything like that. But at the same time, Tim Estradal had come out with a article that was talking about the Gen 3 valve body. And so I wanna talk about the updates to the Gen 3 valve body, a lot of things that Tim got right on this article. And I think it's cool because he was sharing some good information at that time. This is actually an image of the Gen 2 valve body, which this is the old valve body part. So I just wanna point that out, but this is all gone. There's actually quite a bit of changes to this. It is absolutely a completely redesigned valve body. He has part numbers on here. But one thing I wanna point out, a Facebook post from a person who had this part replaced on their truck said the technician noted the new part was completely redesigned with new solenoids, new wiring, and a new body design. There are no photos of this part online at the time of the article. Now, here's where we have the pictures. Ooh, this is a good one. So it talks about how the bolt design is different or the bolt is in different locations when they're actually not in different locations, they're actually just different bolts. But we're gonna go into that more in depth. But this valve body is very much redesigned and we're gonna go into all the specifics of it. You can see that whole uh, external valve body assembly there is gone. So to my article here, we have August, 2025. If you're interested in that video, go check out Mr. Greg Wrench. That's my other channel where I post up a lot about just general vehicle related repairs. And in this case, this is directly related to the 10L60, 10L80, 10L90. And this is for the change from the Gen 2 to the Gen 3 valve bodies. This is an official document that I got from GM on the GM side. So if you're interested in getting the official document yourself, you're gonna to wanna to go contact your dealership and see if they will send it over to you. So this is the vehicles affected at this time. Now, what changed in Gen 3? This is all confirmed uh, through this bulletin that just came out. Robustness and debris tolerance, internal updates for sediment mitigation. Auxiliary valve body has been eliminated. Functions consolidated into the main assembly. So we're gonna get into this picture in just a second, but relocations, default solenoid mounted to the thick plate, mode valve and PCS moved to the solenoid body, TCC solenoid relocated to the valve body half on the case side. So that's right here. That's where that whole body assembly was. And now this photo is from an article off of Reddit. So I'm borrowing this, but you can see this is all gone. And that confirms that that was a major change on this valve body itself. Simplified architecture. This is the biggest, I think. Streamlined internal valving flow, simplified harness, solenoid cover deleted. Now that goes back in line with the comment that Tim had from a Facebook post saying, new solenoids, new wiring, new body design. That's all confirmed with this new update bulletin that came out. So now we're gonna to go to the park inhibit solenoid. This is where it gets a little confusing. So hopefully you can follow me with this one, but the connector may be tucked if the application uses it and it's left disconnected, DTC P18A3 will set. So vehicles are not all equipped with this park inhibit solenoid. So what they're saying here is that if your vehicle is equipped with it, you will need to swap it over to the Gen 3 valve body. And if your vehicle is not equipped with it, it can actually just be tucked away. So if the vehicle is equipped and it's not swapped onto the new valve body, a DTC P18A3 will set. So that's good information to have. And uh, hopefully that's caught at the time of the service because that's a lot of fluid that could be wasted if that's uh, if someone has to go back in there. Active warm up TBV. Now that's the temperature bypass valve. For certain applications, the internal TBV lineup is removed. The casting port is open blank with the TBV located externally. So that's like the LM2, LZ0s, they have the external um, temperature bypass valve. 
And that's something that uh, we've modified and played around with in the in different videos of this channel. So we're not gonna go into that. Here's where it gets even more confusing. Fasteners updated. Bolt locations change versus Gen 2. The bolt locations do not change. However, the bolts do change. And we're gonna get into that in just a second. The bolt kit part number right here is included with the Gen 3 valve body and is required if the valve body is removed for other repairs. So what's being said here is if we go down into this image, see these locations right here? The bolts are still in the same locations. They're just a possibly different head um, maybe even long, longer or shorter bolts at that location. Now remember that whole valve assembly, that's all gone. So obviously those are gonna require longer bolts there. And so that's why you need different bolts for the different area because these are gonna need to be shorter since that's not there. So it's crucial that you use the correct bolts. The good thing is if I scroll down here, you can see the valve body. You can see the bolts are right here. It's, these are included with the Gen 3 valve body. Now, if you're going to go in and maintenance uh, something, you gotta pull the valve body for whatever reason, you have to be absolutely certain that you have the correct bolt kit because both are different. The Gen 3 valve body part number is included in here. And I saw it up there, I just didn't read it off. So make sure that if you have a Gen 2 valve body, you get the correct Gen 2 valve body bolt kit or the Gen 3. So hopefully this clears up a lot of confusion on this Gen 3 valve body. It is very much updated. The harnesses are different. Um, as, as it's all lined out on here, there's definitely some major changes. We also have to assume that the new updated spacer plate is being used on this valve body as well as the steel feed limit low valve, which has been the new update for the P0747. Now again, those are just assumptions because I do not have one of these valve bodies in my possession, so I'm not able to completely remove it or disassemble it so we could take a look in there. However, I do feel really confident in the updates that have taken place on this. Hopefully this clears up a lot of confusion because I've seen a lot of debate online about this whole Gen 3 situation here. I was unaware that I did actually have the Gen 3 valve body in my possession at this time because I got confused by second design and first design. However, we have to think back to this transmission is actually the second design 10L80 transmission which means this first design valve body is actually Gen 2, which means the second design of the second gen transmission would be the Gen 3 valve body. So these have been out since late July. I got my hands on one right at the beginning of August. So all of these pictures and everything, that is the new updated Gen 3 valve body. And so those started coming out mid 2025. So if you've got a new vehicle, within that time frame, it's, I believe it's safe to assume that it did have the newer Gen 3 valve body. And going forward, I believe the Gen 2 valve bodies are completely done. And anytime anybody purchases a new valve body, they will be getting the new Gen 3 update. So rather than doing any modifications, if you're uncomfortable with that, sticking with a proper General Motors designed valve body is probably the safest way for many people. And hopefully this gives you uh, sense of comfort as this is there's some very major updates to this valve body and I think it's a significant step forward whether or not it fixed every problem that's yet to be seen but let me know what you think about this until next time see ya